And hey guys, it's me again, Orts there. Well, this where I last left off is let's see, a little rerun. Deku has been promoted to Baron. Some of his crew, well, two of his crew and their circle will be promoted to captain. They killed the, the prime servitor for House of Bulls. Have a deal with the city. Anything else I'm missing? Nope. Nothing that comes to mind. Where I last left off is Deku, who well, has a little throne set up for the arena. There would be a th three on three, I guess. Hmm, thinking, thinking. How to word this. <laughs> Sorry. Ugh. Where I last left. Yeah, but this is how it happened. Now, as this goes on, it'll be Toga, Mina, and Dobby fighting each other. And the other thing will consist of twice Kaminari and Kirishima. Let's go Kirishima. Kirishima's little brawl first. Right now, like I said, it's a straight up brawl. This Duke's like, go, go, go. And take note that it's not really just they will be the main ones calling the shots. It's just that they've been promoted. So until they'll... They'll get more ether and such is essentially what sums up to. <laughs> and that's how it will be. As well as more responsibilities in battle and the like. Now, as I digress, Kaminari... Kirishima and twice. We'll just like charge at each other basically. But since Hiroshima is like more of a frontline fighter, especially since he's a melee frontline fighter, he's more bulky and strength wise he outmatches both of them. So he just like easily, with just power alone, just knocks him out. <laughs> now, Mina, Toga, and Dobby. The three of them, this will be kind of longer, in the sense that mm, they each have their own skills. Like, Mina will just rush at the Dobby, while Toga will stay back and watch, see how they fight without weapons. As this continues forward, uh, ah, my neck. As this continues forward, Toga waits for the moment where both of them are at their weakest. Like, right now, Dobby and Twice haven't seen this. Except Dobby knows this and talks to Mina, saying, She's just waiting. Let's g let's gank her. As they, like, charge, both, like, t charge forward. Since Toga's been, like, assassinating, like, larger members. Like, larger members of the Elixni are fallen. <laughs> She's gotten pretty good at taking down targets, so. She quickly and effectively just... <sighs> Instantly. So as this happens, both of the fights are done. So as they're like... <sighs> this was like, took a little bit, so they're like... <sighs> <sighs> but then Deku walks like... <sighs> as he walks down, they like, look up at him. It's like, well done. Ether given. Captain ranks of Captain earned, uh, and so as they're like, yeah, they get like celebratory. So their armor gets upgraded, more so than already was. They get the shield and the shield and teleportation thing, same as Deku. <laughs> so as they get this, they, well, they just get it, and now they'll be given. Togo will be given. Pretty much responsibilities over scouting and ga somewhat gathering information on targets in a way. So she'll like be his intelligence, also his head assassin. And Kirishima will be his like one he sends into like battles if he can't go himself to send him into battles where he knows victory can be is like could possibly be lost but will send Hiroshima and his his crew which has been dubbed the Panthers 
No, let's see. Instead of the, just the Panther's Claws, it will be the Panther's, uh, Panther's Wrath. Or something like that. Panther's Wrath, yeah. And Togo will be the Panther's Eyes and Ears. As Deku is the Roar and the Head. So, as they continue forward. Also, Kaminari is like sort of the leader of the Pike. Like the Pike gangs. Like, remember Deku was there with him when he got his Pike? So, yeah. Oh, and their Pikes are specially upgraded to be faster, stronger, and hit harder. Now, Mina's like just the average, like, commander, I guess. Like, sort of like a sergeant and such. Dobby's like a mortar team. So, in a way, he's like the artillery specialist not specialist but he has controls over the he's the grenadier and his like little gang are like special specialized in that like i said deku's like learned from old military doctrine i guess that's the right word so he's learned that he has to have certain units to be specialized to either be specialized or, or well versed in all of these so he has that going on is how he's able to like win these crews especially since he's like taught like sort of had them run a few drills i guess like this is like i said the catch is massive and they may have areas where they'll be able to do this where they will be able to do this there's like a few open areas on the ship so they'll be able to run drills such as like a stronghold where it's based or overlapping or covering fire or barrage and and etc etc now as they go forward it's like a few months so toga and kirishima are like quite big and deku's grown like to the size of the baroness or that actually that devil's baron he was watching because he was already about the size of the baroness if i remember correctly like a little bit shorter but now he's a bit taller than that. He's a bit taller than most barons now. And he's almost as big as the Kel of Stags. So they get this all underway. They have... Uh, oh, let's see. I think it was... I said 500 Elixir under his control. Or under his command. So he's sort of like a person they call in to deal with problems. Now, as this goes forward on, I'll say, like I said, a few months forward, so like three, so two years, two or three, not two or three years, uh, two point whatever amount of years, and as he continues forward, he gets more jobs, like transporting cargo, sending off his ships to bring in more ether. They'll go around, like, pretty much monthly to drop off supplies and such like more ether more glimmer to the house of lions <laughs> now he gets a special call this has given time for the drags to like settle down a bit and they're following him more and more now as he continues forward sorry if you hear that your brother's being a brat and as he continues forward they continue to do their thing and, whew, just thinking about this, because I thought about this earlier, so I've been thinking about how to do this. He gets a contact from the city saying they need supplies moved, and one thing would do. So, as they continue forward, as I continue forward, he gets a call from the city saying that they need some supplies moved. He goes... How much supplies? What supplies? Well, we're doing some damage to the devils. And we need some, let's say, ordnance moved. You can get some guardians to do it, but they've been having heavy, they've had a heavy eye around certain areas. And a guardian would pop on the radar. But your stealth tech, we've heard your stealth your skips and such have supplied certain outposts or certain bands of elixir, yes? 
and he has other deals with like minor houses as well as like some mercenary groups of Elixney. So, yeah. As that continues forward, he continues on and gets the information. He sends out one of his gifts and one of the best pintlets he has. And they sort of drop down and get it. They're all along with the mind of him that he's doing this for the house. Because they know sometimes things can get pretty bad. It's, and apparently they have like this thing like... Like, once every few years, there's, like, this time where a bunch of Elixir are born, but since they don't have the ether supplies for the mothers or the children of Elixir, sometimes there are a lot of them that just die. So, as this, he's, like, working, like, triple time. And as he works triple time, he's taking pretty much a lot of jobs to, like, deliver... Sometimes he even goes out and, like, fights the bulls and devils and winter. But these are, like, very hush-hush covert operations that he carries out. Like, for instance, one time he was given, asked by the house of, not the house of, yeah, but the house of devils, actually, the house of winter, a baron wanted to kill another baron, you see? So he was given orders to to sabotage, in a way, to sabotage, or actually just straight up assassinate that captain. So as this happened, Deku had Toga send one of her best to just infiltrate and just take care of it. Which is what her little section of the crew is supposed to do. Specialize in infiltration and assassination, as well as sabotaging. So as she was doing that, she sent one of her best, actually, and got them winter clothes. So as they got their winter clothes, house of winter clothes and colors, they made their move. As they're, like, wandering around, they find a time where this captain, captain, not captain, captain is separated from his little, his little group to, like, go have some time to himself now as he continues as she continues forward she waits in silence just then now she slowly sneaks up and just like acts surprised like oh forgive me captain i did not know you were here i come up here to be alone and he sort of like get out of here as this is understood she's like goes away but stealthily she just switches on her stealth so as she sneaks back up he's like <sighs> incompetent wretches he's like a not very good captain they're both not good but this one's worse than him so as he she sneaks up it's like <sighs> very quick action <sighs> and as the success is reported they get their glimmer and salvage it's a lot, too, since some of these are high-risk, high-reward sort of operations. So as he's bringing these massive bounties of loot in, he continues forward his with, And he they all bring him in and drop him off. This year, this this is also why a bunch of Greggs and others are, like, starting to look up to him. Because with how much he's bringing in, they won't have the same thing happening again. He's ensuring that. So, as this continues forward, Deku will be bringing on all of the supplies to ensure this. He even like gives some to the house of stags and jaguars to resupply their efforts. And this goes on. Now, this thing will be a very specific. They're targeting a certain outpost, the house of devils, with some barons. They're like meeting up to discuss things coordinate their efforts again in this area to try and comp they've taken over the cosmodrome but they're trying to stretch out to more and Zavala and them will deny them that as much as they can do so as he like his ship drops them off and they say we've dropped it off where's the money and such the the one of them actually gets 
not one of them, but yeah, one of the team members of this, excuse me, little spec ops unit, gets an attitude saying, what do you mean, where is it? Where is it? You're giving this to us. He's like, no, we have deal with Zavala. As he like, is told this, he's like, well, just be easier to kill you, as he points the gun, but... He didn't notice this, that the others are like, what are you doing? So what? They're just some elixity pirate scum. As this happens, Toga's like, <laughs> Deku had, has some of Toga's shadow, the panther's shadows, I guess. Like, follow this vandal to, like, make sure everything goes according to plan. As it's like, <laughs> this wasn't a, Guardian, so yeah, they're gone. Wasn't a guardian, so this was made up of humies. As FOTC is like, What the f as this happens, like, where, where is what we were promised? He jeopardized deal, we sort out. As I was settled, Deku and them like reported this thing that. One of their FOTC tried to kill his vandal. As this sent, Zavala was like, Hey, Cora, who was on that team? Uh, just some of my, like, better operatives get things done. Like, <sighs> You need to do more with the ones. So ensure that they don't have any deep hatred. And she's like, That's gonna be difficult. He's like, I don't care. This alliance... Or deal is very important. I'm sorry, Deku, for the inconvenience. He's like, no problem. See, it doesn't happen again. And so on and so forth. Another couple months pass. Another couple months pass, so it's like five months now. Deku has been contacted by a very specific person. Varix. As this is contact is made, it's like you are Deku, House of Panther. Yes. He's like, yes, I am Deku. House of Panther. A subordinate to Lion. How may I help you? It's like fallen history. Weapons, catch, shanks, and ether. I will need these. You have, yes. He's like, what is job? And I'll just speak normally, because reasons. He's like, I'll need you to escort a certain ship. This will require full effort. Many want this person dead. Queen wishes her safe. You, we entrust her to you. Spread thin. Or, too obvious, move through very hostile space. But with you, safe. So as this happens, Deku sends one of his gifts and He's on that skiff personally to receive this purse, these people. So as he lands, it's like, <sighs> shing. <sighs> as he lands, Marasov, Aldrinsov, Petrovent, Varix, and the little sister of Aldrinsov and Marasov is there. Ari. Yes, I'm including her. Ari. She's like, Eri, she speaks to Deku, and he, like, gives a bow. Marasov, Kel of Wolves, Queen of Reef. As he, like, gives a bow, because, like I said, he shows everyone proper respect. He, every Kel deserves the respect they get. Even the one from the House of Bulls got his position. But, I digress. As of what's happening now, she ordered, she tries to order him at first, but he's like, 
You do not order me. You hire me. That is what this is. A deal. Not a... Not me being ordered. She's like, hmm. She wanted to, like, test to see if he would just bend over. He's like, I bow to Kell of Lions, not Kell of Wolves. As he states that plainly and clearly. Again, Varix, Petrovins, and Aldrin Sov is kind of, like, looking annoyed. Ares kind of scared. Petrovins is like... Oh, and Varys is just like kind of worrying, so he's like inching closer, to trying to get between two. She's like, she's like, Vamana sounds and like, forgive me, it's a habit. She's like, apology accepted. So where are we taking her? Outpost, city. These can be done, but through hostile area. This concerns me. How hostile? What belongs there? As the Moral Self explains that they need to take area, Airy, not area, Airy to a certain part of the reef that will be like her place where she'll go to learn and such. But in the late, late days, like she was like meant to stay there. She'll be staying there. She'll stay there for a bit. Well, like having her force, she'll be essentially trained and such, like groomed to be a commander and such, as well as a leader, just in case Marosov ever dies. But before that, yeah, not before that, if Marosov dies, Aldrin Sov has no want for the throne. He's right, like, quite happily, like, just happily serving his sister. And he understands this point. He's like, why not use own forces? Your forces could easily punch through. She's like, this is a secret area. Let's see. As he's like, understood. Is her belongings here? She's like, yes. As in, like, Deku asks for a vandal to come down. And it just, like, sees the luggage. It's like, Calls a couple of other vandals down. They just like take the luggage up to his ship. She will be safe. I promise. But before we go. What will we get in return? As she like sort of. Variks says. Not Variks. Marasov says. Tell him Variks. Ether. You'll be given ether. Shanks. Salvage. Glimmer. And, well, that is all. Well, also, a favor. Favor, not necessary. This is deal, not favor. As he says that, he's like, come, little one. We, or he goes like, reef princess. We go to place. As he like, sort of picks her up a bit. Or, like, holds her hand a bit and, like, just, like, all, like, jumps up. And this is when Maro solves, like, Petrovin's Aldrin, yes, you are to follow him very stealthily. Like, we could do that. And as Varix is like, why follow them? She's like, just gave my little sister over to some fallen. We don't know. That we don't have that much information on, aside from what we've seen and what we've heard, which isn't a lot. But you say he's by fallen standards. He's like not fallen, Elixney. He is different. Out of all, he has right for name Elixney. Others fallen. As he says this, she's like, oh. You haven't really said anything like that about any other fallen. To call, they have the right to call themselves Elixni. He fights when has to, but he also seeks out enemies to stop the fighting. I don't know what he is, if he's still fallen or he's Elixni. This will prove it. 
If he honors steel, he is elixir. If he takes child, he is truly fallen further. So as Degu has her brought up to like the captain's chamber, so that they get all their stuff prepared, like do 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 do. All hands on deck. As they like get ready for their jump. And as they're sailing across the whole wreckage and such, like they will see a skiff and like a couple of catches, or like a catch being supported by several skiffs, but he has a stronger force, so if they ever did attack, he could take them. As this happens, he gets a sort of like a video call. And he's like, hide Eri. And Eri's like with Toga and them. She's hiding. But this, this mercenary is like, what house belong? What house do you belong to? He's like, you first. It's like, I belong to the House of Winter. Yep, House of Winter. We searching for any of those awoken or those queen or uh, yeah the reefs forces we pirate civilian transports easy to take most money most glimmer even a slave workforce i don't know if they have a slave workforce or not but hey as this continues forward that was like haven't seen any check and he just like he's like haven't seen any and don't care awoken do what awoken do winter does what winter does i care not unless you attack me could care less as he states that he's like now we go as it's like later, Baron. As trans, like as the transmutation is shut off, and that's the end of that. Deku, like, <sighs> Deku still has his guns ready to fire just in case they get the bright ideas. And they walk, past, and they go past peacefully. Eri just sort of talks to the, some of the crew as they've like been assigned to look after her. <laughs> oh, as they've been assigned to like sort of be her personal guard and such. Just in case any enemies have somehow by any sort of miracle gone on board. <sighs> ah, that's comfortable. Ah, trying to cocoon myself in a blanket. Uh, mm. There we are. But I digress. Deku's still commanding and just sort of talks of Eri. So he's trying to build up a somewhat, I believe the saying is, good rapport with her. <sighs> good rapport and such. So he continues forward just by talking to her. He asks her what kind of stuff she does and such. She answers honestly and like hmm neat she's like what do you do he's like i fight for lions bring in ether supplies glimmer anything house needs house survives i am part that drives it as he says this like a few there is like yeah he is. she's like how long have you been and as she point like like makes her like seem bigger he's like big not long but through battle through victory i gain strength and i grow we shall be stronger for our house as these things are being said he's like we have arrived we'll escort you there personally so as he grabs the rest of the luggage, he like is big enough to grab all four luggage bags, which I'll say is there's that much. 
they load on a skiff. Deku has like a little attach, like little detachment, not detachment, but little entourage of Elixni like holding their weapons and such. As they land, it's just like they all land beforehand and they're just like all scanning the area with like a couple of shanks like surrounding and Deku arrives then airy so they're all like huddled like around her and they're moving like a like in the movies and such or like tv shows where like the really popular girl or the girl with like a famous not famous dad but rich dad has her surrounded by bodyguards that's what they'll do and so as they do that they approach the like little sanctuary and the group of I don't know if there's any female corsairs and such, which I'm pretty sure are like the forces employed by the Reef Queen who will look after her and such. It's like, oh, we at like at first they like have guns and ready, so Deku and his squad are like shh, shh, just like all pointing guns everywhere. As Ari says, Hey as she's like, Oh, Ari they're like, weapons down, weapons down. While one or two keep their weapons up, they're significantly... Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm sorry. Those, like, two have, like, three guns on them. Like, shh, shh. So they put their weapons down eventually. As Deku, they, like, the entourage walks forward with Deku in front of them. And he, like, hands off the luggage to, like, some of her. And he's like... Deal is done. Later, Airy. He's like, uh, bye, Deku. And before they leave, we were expecting wolves and awoken. Queen called us. Very hostile area. And, well, then what about the wolves? She's like, wolves may have hard feelings, I suspect. She suspect as well. Some may not along. Some may only follow because only chance to survive you never know but we leave we get our glimmer and they leave he says his last goodbye to Arian and they go up <sighs> God. as he's as they're sailing through the little void they come to see that the House of Winter is attacking several civilian ships. As Deku sees this, it's just another distress signal. Help us! This is the whatever. We have more children on board. The only thing that will ever push Deku, Deku really. Because he believes that if, that if their military forces, if they aren't strong enough, not really worth it anyway. This may contradict some things, but like I said, if it was military forces, he would have left them. They're military forces. They should be able to defend themselves. But as this is happening, Deku has more, like another merchant ship and such, with civilians and children all that on them. It's like, House of Winter, you found bounty, I see. Stop attacking may destroy ships. Ships look in bad condition. We sweep through, claim what is ours. As he says this, he has like two open and is like, I send boarding parties. They get in, they let us in, or they die. As this is said, the Baron's like, good. I will wait. As like several skiffs are like, <laughs> like all at the ready. Mara saw, not Mara saw, Petrovenge and all of them see this. They're like, what? What is he doing? He's attacking all of our ship. Mara saw and very like, no, not attacking. Saving is what. Marasov is thinking. Varric thinks maybe I was wrong. Marasov's like, You weren't wrong, Varric. Look at that. House of Winter was just pummeling that ship and probably would have destroyed it, stripping what remains. But now they've stopped. Letting, they're letting him send his troops on to secure. Maybe 
you'll only lose glimmer and such. <sighs> and as this continues forward, as Deku's crew and Deku and the Baron of Winter land, he's like, Baron of Winter, Baron of Lions. As he says that, or Baron of Panthers or whatever. Ah, ah. I digress. As they continue forward, they secure the ship. The captain's like, just take whatever you want. Just don't hurt us, please. The Baron likes us. As it, like, shouts at him. The captain cowers back. Some of the vandals are, like, looking over the crowd and such. And they see a few of the wolves that were sent to, like, defend the ship as personal guards. As they're, like, dragged out and, like, beaten a bit. As, like, some of them try to, like, start beat on these vandals and dregs. Deku's crew, who, like, Kirishima walks over. Not even Kirishima, but, like, Mina, Dobby, and Twice walk over and throw them off. Like, <sighs> like as, like, little, discre not discrepancies, but little things like this happen. The, the Baron starts getting agitated. Why do you defend these wolves? They bow before Reef Queen, and pot not even Elixni. He's like, they honor traditions. As, like, Deku snaps back, they honor traditions told by them by elders. We follow those if our Kel is defeated. We follow those who prove themselves worthy. Mara... Sov is Kel of Wolves, Queen of Reef, just as much as yours is Kel of Winter, Lord of Venus. As he says this, he's like, respect traditions. This is what we only have left to cling to, aside from ancient ships and past honor. As he states this, this Winter Baron's like, oh, as like his like little crew starts like assembling behind him, Deku's real little, not even little, but medium sized crew gets behind him. The Baron is trying to calculate this. Deku's like, we split profits, half of cargo, but we do not kill unless have to. We kill them, Reef Queen comes down on us. Reef Queen decides we've become too bothersome, but we leave them alive. No reason to come for blood. We spill no blood, blood won't have no blood. You see what I mean. As he says this in like sort of twisting around in his favor, the Baron's like, I see fine grab cargo take what is needed take half we leave rest for panthers and as they sweep the ship deku does take the cargo and such to follow along and he stays behind to ensure that this unnecessary destruction doesn't happen and as that baron leaves back for venus like the captain contacts him like Thank you so much. As he's like, no problem. He would have massacred you. Killing like this is unnecessary. And as he says this, some, like a captain from the House of Wolves walks up and he's like, Thank you. Others spit on us. You do not. We thank you. He's like, you follow traditions as is ordered by traditions. No reason to spit on you or belittle you. We send cargo back. As this, like, he tries to, like, send out the order, the captain's like, no, keep it. Like, both the captains are like, no, keep it. As, like, Mara Sov and such, I guess this will be a way for them to listen, listen to it. He's like, no, keep it. You saved our lives. We are ever thankful. If you need something transported through the reef, let us know. He's like, we'll do, but we return home. Time to drop off supplies. And he returns home. 
That ship then makes its way closest to the safest allies, and as Marasov is like before he leaves, like Deku fully leaves the reef, Marasov contacts him saying, You've gotten confirmation you have delivered. Arrive in this area, and we shall trade over the supplies. And Aldrin solves like, you're just gonna give them after they just took all that from the ship? He's like, it wasn't taken, it was given. We honor our deals, brother. He got Eri to safety. We honor those deals as much as he does ours. As well as, he doesn't spit upon my people. As she states that... Like, since she does think of the Fallen as her people as well. Whew. As her people as well. She's like, we'll ensure that he's repaid properly. Ain't that right, Varric? And he's like, uh, yes, Reef Queen. Or Mara Kel. As he arrives, Mara Sov is again there in person. <sighs> as Deku, like, arrives with his catch and such to ensure all the stuff goes off properly... They see the massive amount of supplies. He's like, this much for escorting her and for honoring the deal, as well as saving that ship earlier. We saw that. Thank you. Like, couldn't stand by and watch. We be murderers, if not. We don't kill unless necessary. I see. Well... We may have more work for you in the future, so continue on. Have a nice day. As they load all the salvage weapons, ether, and she's like, also, we have, and she also gives them a ship, like a ship or two. And like, not the best, but they're still there. More fighters to add. As he like, he's like understands this. They get put in the thing as well so he has 10 fighters like i guess like 10 medium ships which include the skiffs and like some other smaller ships and now this catch but i digress hmm. and now as i digress whoo they continue forward, pick up all the supplies and everything. So as they get back, it's like, pfft, we're delivering the supplies. As they contact the Baron, the House of Lions headquarters, they're like, we bring much to their place. As a cow, and like, the cow has assembled a lot of the Barons. Deku just now has heard about this. Like, a lot of the Barons and their captains and such, and tells them that they must meet with them. They can have something important to discuss. And this will also involve the lions. Not the lions, but, well, the lions, the stags, and the jaguars. So as they all end, it's like, pfft, There's like a massive amount of elixir. So as he, like, walks in, the kell of lions, jaguars, and stags are all there. Deku walks in with his white and black with Kirishima and Toga at his sides. Toga's taking note of, like, all the barons and captains here. As he walks up, he goes to the lion's point. Like, where the lions are situated at. So it's like... The bulls are weak! As, like, the jaguar, the kell of jaguars, she's saying... The kell, the bulls are weak. We could easily assault them now and take them down. But the stag's like... But what about our forces? We need to keep... If we focus all in effort, certain areas are weak. We do not have enough strength. Their fortifications would also take time to break. I've had scouts following them, but difficult to follow. And then the lion's like... like I agree with both your statements. They're weak right now, but the, as soon, like, as they are dug in, it would be oh, it's difficult to root them out. They got their entire fleet situated above them. Plus, they're on one, not on the moon, but they've moved from Earth. They're in transit right now. That's why all the ships are there, as well as to keep all the devils and all the others from trying to kill them. 
as this is said, they're like, we can do this. We wait for fleet to be in transit. We take out entire house. As like a, several of them are like, yeah. But then Deku voices, forgive me, but what about children? Little ones. Ones who don't deserve it. As this is said, some of them are like, oh, of course. And uh, some of them agree, yeah, what about the children? He's like, they are innocent. They do not need to suffer because of the ones leading. As they say this, they were about to do... Some of them are saying, they were about to do the same thing to you. And your house, how could you say that? He's like... This is why I say it. I was there. I remember us running for lives as father. As he states, as his father, last captain of Panthers, held them off and held the line. As they gave their lives to buy us every single second. So he's like, don't you dare question if I have the right. As he says this, like, very loudly, a lot of them are just like, shut up. Just like, look down. Because they just got served. And Deku has, like, made his opinion known. And the Kells are, like, discussing amongst themselves. Because, like I said, Deku is respected very highly. Because he brings in ether, all this stuff for each of the houses. And ensures that another, like, the time where a bunch of the young ones and all the ones with weakened immune systems or just weak don't die he will he like himself has contributed a major part because of all he's doing he's ensuring that they won't suffer so the kells sort of the kells barons captains any one of the houses have to take into account of what he says and heed his words because they're like all right what do you suggest he's like hmm and speaks to toga Toga, give information. As, like, Toga walks forward and Sora has a display thing. I've been gathering info. We find out where certain ships are meant for military. Which ones are meant for innocent. We take out military. Separate innocent from guilty. We annihilate guilty. And as this is said, Daku's like, this is planned. I can surprise attack i will as he says panther will spearhead will spearhead assault as he says this panther as in you the panther will spearhead this assault and the kel said they would also be involved in this each kel leads house four prong attack but we strike first as like they all the kells and all the houses like discuss amongst themselves it's like fine but you will be so supported by several catches and i'll say the house of stags have grown and a bit more power so they have a few catches at the very least a few that they've sort of been able to just like a catcher like just two the original one and like one they've been able to like somehow put together as well as like several skiffs and not even any fighters he like talks about this and like we can support you stags will help panthers spearhead assault not many of us so three-pronged assault will ensure that they are trapped we shall kill them all and guilty as Deku states this, they're all like getting behind. They're like, yeah, we agree. So as they make their preparations, Deku like gives the announcement to his crews like, this will be like two weeks in the making. And I believe it's like two, two and f years and five months, maybe six months. But I continue forward. Deku like states this to his crew that in a week we will be spearheading an assault and driving out the last of the bulls. We shall see their house finally tore down. As this is said, 
like some of them are standing up and Deku's two captains are side like right on his side. He's like, "We've been given orders and are organizing the fleet. We shall see their house destroyed." As this is said, he's like giving this very empowering speech. "We shall show them and the panther will lead it. We are the spirit. The others were the first to attack." And we shall see their cow destroyed and dismantled. We've destroyed the Servitor, the Archon. We will kill the last. And then he says, we will kill their cow. As this is said, like the entire crew sh cheers and they're like hyped. They're like gathering all the weapons, all the ammo, ensuring everything's in perfect order. And Deku saying that, he, his ships and such, and his, like, little fleet will spearhead the assault, supported by the House of Stag. Their fallen will lead the first assault, then the House of Lions and House of Jaguars will launch in mass to assault the other sides while they draw the attention away. As this is said, they've all kind of agreed to this. At this point, Deku's crew is the most dangerous thing in this sector. Like in the little section they are, if they went between the couple of houses, if it was meant for like a all out battle, Deku's team could possibly take on like Deku's like little fleet could possibly take on the entire house of Stag. And though it's they are a minor house, they are still a house, they still have way more than Deku. So that's saying something. <laughs> But I digress. As he says this, I digress. And as this happens, Stag is putting every single person like to fighting. They don't really have any children or anything left. So every single one of them is given a weapon and put under like the command of the Kel. And the Kel is actually kind of taking orders from Deku in this instance. Deku's like organizing his like little fleet or like little fleet of ships. And... That will be the end of this. This has been decently long. I thank you all for watching. And as I said. Thank you for all watching. Deku will. In the next episode. Deku will be finally be ripping out the heart. Of the bulls. And again. Thank you. For watching and listening to Babylon. Goodbye.